As the hoss population continues to grow within the standard bread industry here in British Columbia, Hossmen had to come up with an idea on what to do with the excess amount of horses. They did it with an alternative training center, as you're about to see. Well, basically, prior to amalgamation, the breeders put up half out of the business plan money and the Standard Bread Association put up the other half for just a general cleanup. The place was in good repair, but it needed some, ten like, needed some attention. And uh, it just kind of went from there. And now it's at the point where it's up and running itself, and it's, you know, it's holding its own. And, we're getting, we're wondering about maybe going to the next step with it or we're going to have to sit down and see about it and decide what we're going to do at this point, right? Jim, you've been out here quite a while. Can you tell us a little about the training center? Up until about a year ago, uh, Bob Murphy had his whole operation here, except his broodmares, which are in Kelowna. And uh, he moved and uh, built a new center, uh, Alder Grove Way, and uh, now the BC Standard Bird Association leases from the present owners and Horsemen come out here to train babies and train racehorses too, uh, train to use the facilities and uh, ship into race on race days, uh, which is only 8, 10 miles, something like that. So it's a, it's a very handy place, set up very nice. It's a, it's a good, good location. With Fraser Downs so close and horses there, obviously, why the training track? Uh, mostly for young horses, uh, to get the baby started, get them uh, going down here at the farm where it's quiet and uh, out of the way. And, and this is this is an ideal place for young horses. Before Edmonton reopened, uh, there was Jamie Gray had 14 head here, and Doug Shaw is here from Alberta. He's got about 14, 15 horses. But he also has some babies and race horses. And uh, Rick Lancaster, he has a 20-some head here. So it's, it's good for both ways. Uh, some of those people have racing stables plus babies, so there it's working out great for everybody. Tim, when horses are trained here, what kind of, what kind of work schedule do they have? Well, it's it's not a real fast track. It's uh, it's probably anywhere from 15 to 20 seconds slower than the other tracks, uh, like Fraser Downs. Uh, it's only a third of a mile track, a little over a third, so you can't go fast here, but you can get the legwork in and you can do the manners part and some of the guys, they set up a schedule where they ship in once a week to the track to do their fast works and, uh, you know, and uh, give them a little more, a little more bigger track, a little more experience that way. Is there a set amount of time during the day when you, when they can come out, when they got to be off? Uh, old timer like me gets up in the morning. And, uh, we're, I'm on the track by 7, 7.30, but some of the guys don't start till 10. Um, you know, that's just a younger set, I guess, I don't know, but uh, myself, I'm the old school. I get up and get my work done. I'm done by 10, so. We see the uh, tractor. How is this racetrack to maintain? It, it looks good. It, it's easy to maintain here. It's the same material as, uh, as uh, Fraser Downs has, but it doesn't get the traffic. It doesn't have the, as many horses, and it's smaller, and uh, we don't have to go as many revolutions with the uh, maintenance equipment, and it uh, it's, does good. Uh, we, we never miss a day here, even snow or frost, it's still, we still go every day. Jim, you've seen some pretty good horses here because you've trained a few. Can you just run a, run a couple of the good horses that have been at this track? Well, we trained uh, Red Star Long Shot, Red Star Tricks, Minkler, he went 149 when he left here uh, and went back east, and uh, Red Star Minkler, and Red Star Rustler, he was a very good top two-year-old, three-year-old horse. Uh, you probably remember him way back in the 90s. And, you know, there's been some great horses trained here. Uh, you know, some good mares, and, uh, some top race horses that Mr. Murphy bought, some that he raised. Uh, I worked for him here for eight years, and we, we turned out some very nice stock training on this track here. How important was it for the BC Standard Rate Association to pick up the lease on this track? Very important. It's, uh, it's something we need to concentrate on a little more, is to get uh, extra places for to go, and uh, maybe we can improve our uh, breeding program by having some people places to train young horses you know like uh, that's a problem that the uh, people they want young horses but there's not very many facilities where you can take them but this is one that's it's really nice 